Hello everyone, Dan 14 Prime here. I want to do another Takara MP44 video share out today. In this video I want to do a comparison of MP44 versus TE01 Op Leader as well as Magic Square Light of Freedom, both good third party alternatives to the official Takara Masterpiece Optimus Prime. As I've mentioned in my other MP44 videos, I'm chunking out different reviews and demonstrations for the figure. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. Check back on the channel. We will find other videos such as how to transform MP44 and a comprehensive review of all the gimmicks and accessories and configurations as well as playability for MP44 in other videos on the way. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, same handle Dan14ThPrime, where I always post my unboxings and first reactions to anything you find up here on the YouTube channel. And if you love Transformers and collectibles, check the links down in the description below. I'll link you out to my Amazon page. Tons of Transformer stuff out there. And if you're still shopping for your MP44 or either of these two guys, you'll find links down in the description below as well. As always, any shopping you do through those links supports the channel at no cost to you and is very much appreciated. All right, let's dive in on this comparison. Let's start off here at the wide angle view of all three figures. We've got Op Leader, MP44, and Magic Square from left to right. In terms of size and weight, Magic Square is about 14 ounces, MP44 about 15 ounces, and Op Leader about 19 ounces. They're all three about roughly the same height. You'll notice some build differences in terms of how they get there, you know, where the waistline exactly is, where the shoulder line and the collarbone line, chest line exactly is, etc. But by the time you get to the top of the head, they're pretty much spot on. If anything, MP44 might be a smidge smaller. I'm talking like an eighth of an inch or something like that smaller. Really not even noticeable. And even though Op Leader is the heaviest of these figures, I will say build quality across all three is good. Really no issues to complain about. I think they all use good plastic and die cast. Sturdy, durable materials. I think Op Leader just uses a bit more fill weight in the thighs, which gives it that extra heft. The other thing that should jump out at you at the first glance here is just the different types of finish. Yes, you see some differences in shades of red and blue, and we do know Magic Square went with the gray versus white for the legs. And if I haven't mentioned yet, I have back on the channel an in-depth review of TE Op Leader versus Magic Square. So if you want to see those two go at it side by side, check out that video. You'll find in there, personally, I believe Op Leader to be the better figure between those two. But back to the comment on the finish, MP44 brings the nice glossy finish. It's got the glossy red paint, the glossy blue, the brightest white, and the shiniest chrome. I think we could all say and agree that's not the most tune accurate look because the cartoon was obviously more flat, like Op Leader, for example. However, personally, I love the gloss finish. It just really pops. One thing about these figures for me is if they don't use molding and or paint, they can look a bit bland. So given this is still G1 design, not a ton of detail and molding in it, I like the extra glossy paint. You're also probably noticing a bit in overall stature of the figures. Op Leader and Magic Square come off a bit square and just bulkier, particularly through the chest. You'll also notice here in the profile, MP44 has the bigger backpack, but I will say that's a gimmick and design choice. That backpack is a power source and a voice box for the many, many voice features that MP44 has. So it brings a lot of playability and fun, and personally, I think still doesn't look too bad, though certainly not the best of the three, aesthetically speaking. My guess would be when the Chinese companies knock off MP44, they may very well make a choice to take out that part. Just eliminate the power source in the voice clips. And if they do so, you'll be able to flatten out that backpack quite a bit. So it purely exists for the functional gimmicks that it brings. I will come back to the color choices here as we take a look at the back of the figure. Fundamentally the same, but again, different shades, as well as the, the gloss versus matte finish way I'd mentioned already. But I do believe the shades that Takara used are the right shades, you know, gloss or no gloss. When I see the blue in the legs and in the hands and the head, and you'll see more as we go in closer, but that's the cartoon blue that I remember. And even when I go look at reference picks today, seems to line up the closest. Let's get a side by side of all three heads here. I think all three head sculpts are good. MP44 and Op Leader probably a bit more tune accurate, not as, as sort of wide as Magic Square gets around the jawline and the ears. But generally, they all three have the right look to them, I would say. Again, I think MP44 has got the right color. And particularly on this Op Leader head, and again, this is the second issue, which came with the 
the the movie head and not the season one head that the original release did. The blue looks a bit off, even slightly different from what we find in the legs and hands. I will also add again, Op Leader came with the season one head, as does MP44 as well. And even more heads still come with MP44. Again, check out my gimmicks and accessories video out on the channel for more details. We do a closer overview of just the top half of the figures, and we'll have to do them in pairs. So I've got MP44 on the left and Op Leader on the right. Again, you'll notice a bit more of that chunkiness that Op Leader brings. But otherwise, I think both do a nice job of sort of the streamlined, long, lanky Optimus Prime cartoon look. But I will say when you go back and compare to the stills, it's hard to say one is more cartoon accurate than the other in terms of the build of the figure and that look aesthetically. You know, MP44 comes to a bit of a thinner waist and overall just thinner hip plate. I'd say MP44 probably improved the, uh, the window shading, the color, the translucent blue a bit more. You could see through Op Leader actually, just wasn't really opaque enough. And again, the chrome, it's a choice. Both are using a type of chrome, I would say, though very matte and more silver for Op Leader, whereas we get all the shine and bling on Optimus. And I will call out here from the front, the, the pipes on the shoulders, I always thought Op Leader didn't do that good of a job there. So I much prefer MP44's pipes coming off the shoulders there in bot mode. If we go inside the chest, MP44, you can actually get the windows open wide. Op Leader, they sort of stop there at the 90 degree mark. Both have the matrix cover, the chamber cover. And if we pop the cover on the matrix chambers, both, which is equally a pain in the butt, but Op Leader even more so, I found. You take a look at the matrixes in MP44, I find to be much, much better. Reminds me more of the movie. And then here, maybe I'll just capture a final thought on the waist as well. Both do a nice job. Personally, I prefer the white look. MP44 has got a popping, nice, crisp white look. I do prefer that a bit more. And one nit I always had on MP or Op Leader was the, the little gray piece of plastic there that they didn't paint. Don't have that issue with MP44. A bit more quickly here with Magic Square side by side. Again, Magic Square, nice figure. Uh, doesn't really go to the extent of tune accuracy as Op Leader or MP44. So I'm not going to assess every detail along that line because I think it's pretty clear that though Magic Square improved some of that tune accuracy over MP10, it, it really doesn't um, do it near as well as Op Leader or MP44. So I just want to give you the sense of the comparison. In Magic Square, it's that bulkier build. So it's not as tune accurate. You look at the, the chest and just really the arms even. You don't get that lanky build that Optimus had. It's much more boxy on Magic Square. You've got things like wipers on the windows painted. Again, you've got gray waist and legs, and they're using a translucent plastic to fill some of that in. Looks cool. Looks good. Again, just not too inaccurate. They've painted the arrows on the form. But I did like what they did with the pipes up there on their shoulders as well. And then finally, the, the grill. You get a bit of a longer kind of grill here. Again, it's a, it's a chrome, but not near as shiny as the MP44. It does impact the proportions a bit between, you know, how big are they making the windows, big and square, more like Op Leader and MP44 versus a Magic Square windows, a little sleeker, not quite as tall. It gives you a bit of a longer waist look and grill through the, the midsection. And I hadn't mentioned, but call out to the Autobot symbol on MP44 left arm. Looks fantastic. Lower half of the figure, MP44 on the left, Op Leader on the right. Both have the blue accent underneath the crotch. Both do a nice job with the molding through the thighs. I think they both generally have the same molding there. I will say for MP44 though, they, they etched in or indented the molding. On Op Leader, these sections you see, they just raise up. They're raised. On MP44, there's actually grooved and etched in. So it looks much, much better. It really pops a lot more, which I find makes it look all the more like the cartoon. Again, the blue I think is a little more tuned spot on, but both have nice lower legs. Super clean, both of them, the right general design, both of them, you know, even the way they're doing little sort of triangles there. Again, a bit, a bit different in how it's executed, but they're trying to put all the same things in the same place. And even down on the foot, you get the gray across the, the front of the toes. MP44 here with Magic Square, again, just different, you know, gray down the thighs, not really a high tune accuracy molding. Magic Square generally picking up a tune inspired theme down the, uh, down the shin, but executed differently with just a different style in mind. And then on the front of the foot there, it might be harder to see because it gets so thin, but you get more of a translucent blue plastic 
on the toe with Magic Square. Close in here on the profile for MP44 on the left and op leader on the right. Again, backpack jumps out at us. I think we've talked a bit about it already. Having had the figure in hand and tooled around with it for a few days now, it's, it's a functional choice that Takara made. All of this is battery source, voice clips, which is fun and gimmicky, but has an impact to the aesthetic of the figure. Be interesting to see if they do any future releases. They could easily tweak that, thin out the backpack, and remove the electronics. And should make the figure cheaper overall if they did that, I'd expect. Again, I think the pipes on MP44 are better. Uh, I never liked the op leader one. It just comes down too low. But both have a nice kind of thin, lankier build to the arms. We'll say op leader comes off looking a bit more boxy, though, compared to some of the, the angles and the panels we get on MP44. And just down the rest of the profile there, I've moved the arm out of the way. I mean, nothing really special on the, on the side profile there underneath the, the chest. Get that side of the hip. The op leader suffers a bit from these, these gray hinges across all of the waist section. Again, I think both, uh, both pretty good with the, the tanks. Op leader has the biggest of the three, but it doesn't look wonky. So I do probably prefer the MP44 tank size. And op leader just had that little uh, ankle pivot slide there. Not a big deal. Functional way they had to design or chose to design the figure, I should say. So it had a bit of an aesthetic impact, but personally I never found it too bad. But you'll see MP44 you know, clean all the way down. You see just generally more panels happening with MP44. It's a much more complex transformation, as complex as op leader was. MP44 blows that away. So you do see that through the aesthetic of the figure, just you know, panel lines and breaks like that. Now MP44 versus uh, Magic Square. Same things to kind of call out, you know, backpack. Magic Square went with very much what I called MP10 sort of look and design to the back. So we're a bit tighter there. Again, boxier arms, just less shape to them. And again here, if we pan down the figure, nothing too special on the sides there. I think we've talked about the color, the waist and all of that. There's the tiny gas tank that Magic Square brings versus MP44. Both look good. Again, Magic Square goes pretty tiny there. Maybe maybe too small, but again, the, the cartoon's kind of all over the place. All three figures chose to go a bit of a different size there. And down into the blue, I mean, nothing really too special. I think both make the nice right shape. You just have some differences there that we've already talked about. Around back here, MP44 on the left, op leader on the right. Again, backpack finish. We've talked about it. You have the chrome bumper for op leader hanging off the back. You see the stripe more fully wrap around the back. Don't know if that's necessarily more tune accurate or not, but it's not a big deal either way. And then differences in just how they bring up the, the blue crotch accent kind of goes all the way up the butt on MP44. Whereas an op leader, it's stopped by the bumper. And we jump down the back of the leg. Again, similar detailing they're going for. You see it much better on MP44, just the way it's etched in. And I will say here on the back, op leader chose to actually not raise those accents, but indent them overall as well. Whereas again, the point I'm trying to make there, MP44, everything's sort of more or less on the level, the same level. These actually raise maybe a bit, but then they have these large these etchings in there. So they're just executing it differently, but I think it makes the detail pop a bit more with MP44. Uh, screw hole happy a bit on the back leg of MP44, but, you know, it's a function of engineering, just the complexity with that figure. You know, I didn't call it out up top, but a lot more screw holes on the back of the arms of Op Leader, so it's a trade-off. Now, back of the legs, Op Leader, just super clean. I mean, just the way they chose to do that transformation. The figure overall is just, like, really clean. Whereas with MP44, we know we've got to deal with all these, like, micro panels. So it has that effect on the aesthetic of the figure. You see some of those panels in the back of the leg overall. Though good, is not filled as well as Op Leader. And MP44 here with Magic Square. I mean, Magic Square always you know, suffered a bit from some of those cab detailings just come around the back of the figures. So you see all the stripings on the shoulders and the back of the arms. Again, cleaner backpack, which we've talked about. Both do a nice job of, I think, bringing the blue crotch piece up around the back a little bit. MP44 is a bit bulkier back there. It probably could have been streamlined a bit. And then you just see more of the, the truck kibble on the back of Magic Square. You know, some chrome grill, some lights, things like that. And around the back of the leg, again, Magic Square, really way, way simpler figure 
engineering wise than the other two. So not near as much with screw holes. Gives a nice clean overall look in terms of closing up the panels. You know, it's got some of the truck light accents there on the on the back of the feet that show through that maybe you wish wouldn't, but is not a big deal at all. All right, last thing here for bot mode, I just want to show you the hands. MP44 on the left, Magic Square, then Op Leader. Uh, Magic Square was most ambitious, really trying to give you all individually articulated fingers with basically a base knuckle and a mid knuckle, um, as well as thumb on a ball joint with a mid knuckle. So the most functional hand, though I found it was kind of flimsy, not showing up too bad here right now, but uh, a little bit floppy in the fingers. You see MP44 on the left and Op Leader on the right. More similar, I will say there's something about MP44 that looks a bit more tune accurate for me. I think it's just some of the molding, you know, just like through the joints and then maybe the color is doing that a bit as well. But you basically just have like trigger finger and then three fingers below. Getting all of that on the base and mid knuckle and the thumb is really just on a hinge. So that just gonna bend like that. Whereas op leader over here, it's kind of similar and that you get the three fingers and the, the trigger finger. Again, both of those having a base and mid knuckle. And then on the thumb, you get the hinge, the same hinge mechanism, but then you get mid knuckle. And actually the hinge, I should say, it only goes down like that with the mid knuckle MP44. It's more like a swing type effect. So no deal breakers there, I think, but just wanted to call out some of the, the hand differences. Actually, one final thing here on bot mode is just briefly with articulation. I'm not going to grind through it all because I think across all three figures, it's uh, pretty good. But a couple higher end differentiating points. MP10 does have a great waistband. And when I see great, I mean magic square, which I won't even bring in. You get a hinge there for transformation and you just sort of have this unsightly like it gaps over and a huge gap created back here. MP44 hinges uh, from like inside the hip back there. So really cool and they keep it all together so it's not like you lose the core of the figure aesthetically. So very nice. Of course, Op Leader didn't even have any of that um, waist crunch. And then with MP44, you get the hip swivel truly up at the hip. Whereas with Op Leader, it was at the knee. Otherwise, again, both a lot of good articulation, shoulders, elbows, you know, wrists, down to knees, down to ankles. So a lot there to like in both. And maybe just one other call out, and this is articulation slash maybe engineering. The way Takara, when you raise the leg, see how the hip panel? It goes in and it's like part of the hip movement, that front hip panel. Really cool how that's engineered. With Op Leader, you know, you don't get that, of course. It's, it's old school. And it just flips up on top, so it doesn't look as good aesthetically. Also, you just really have these basic clicking joints, you know, ratchet through the hip. Not near as many sort of clicking areas as you have with uh, Takara there. And that's generally the case, same thing. Lots of ratcheting through there. And just fewer clicks. So you have... You know, higher quality in terms of the degree of articulation that can be allowed, you know, more stops basically in the ratchet on Takara MP44. So we know Takara is going that route with all of these new releases. It's all about really upgrading playability, articulation, action figure-esque in bop mode. So that is a little bit next level versus the third party alternatives. Okay, next up, let's get into the alt modes here. I've got Op Leader, Takara, and Magic Square from left to right. I think all look pretty good. I'll pull off the nice boxy Freightliner design and all went with, you know, a little bit of the similar molding and details on the front of the cab. Now, Op Leader and Magic Square painted the wipers and actually on Op Leader, they're actually even separate little pieces. Takara, oddly, I found they molded them in, but then didn't paint them. And for me, if they wanted the highest tune accuracy, I don't think they were drawn in the cartoon. They could have just not molded them in to begin with. You know, Magic Square went with some, some orange translucent plastic for the, the lights. Takara gives us some orange accents, reflector type things off of the bumper. You know, different styles of grill. Op Leader's got yellow accents on top. Magic Square and Takara went orange. And you know, they've all generally got the blue window, but Magic Square and Takara much more opaque versus Op Leader. 
Also, in terms of the molding, then Magic Square just very clean. They don't they didn't mold a lot in. They kind of went for more tune accuracy, simple mold, and simple flat colors. Whereas both Op Leader and Takara, they molded a bit more in. They both have like some riveting going across the truck. For Takara, it's kind of lightly across the top of the window. Both have it below the window and then a bit down by the lights as well. Okay, we'll have to do profile one at a time. We've got Op Leader on the left, Takara on the right. You get the translucent blue side window, which matches the front window. Op Leader's just got like a black painted window there. They both have the flipping mirror. Again, both using some riveting and some amount of detail for, you know, steps and kind of bars, things like this. Some detail all molded in there. Similar but different. And I will say just having the paint on the Takara one really makes all that look a bit nicer and show through a bit better. Gas tanks are comparable, a little bit thicker and bigger, a bit longer over there with Takara. Again, similar but different wheels. Chrome, kind of this riveted look around the wheel. And I'd say from the side profile, you know, the, the trailer hitch end, the blue of the truck, they both look good, you know, low profile. We bring in Magic Square, you know, it's much different, a bit simpler overall. You know, they went with the gray stripe. Obviously, we've seen that kind of like a chunkier looking tire, just like thicker tire, smaller rim. Again, you'll see some translucent plastic again through here, the really big gas tank. And then just the whole, whole back, the blue section towards the trailer hitch, really not very good. Doesn't really look like a truck. It looks like just Optimus's legs folded up. So really an era where Magic Square didn't really bother to try to improve versus MP10. And around the back of the figures here, again, Op Leader, Takara, and Magic Square left to right. Op Leader, I think, you know, wins here. It's just so smooth and clean. Again, a little bit of that simpler, still complex, but simpler engineering and design helps make the back of the trailer hitch area just look nice and just full and buttoned up all the way. The Takara one, from this view, I gotta say, really doesn't look good. There's just no level, there is no like level plane to the back of that trailer hitch area. It's just all kinds of parts coming on top of each other. And then it really only gets worse as you go towards the cab with the upside down gas tanks and then some of the hip sections sitting there. So definitely the weakest point aesthetically of the figure for Takara overall is right there. You're looking at it. And again, Magic Square on the right. Again, not much more to say that hasn't been said. You know, you see the waist section and what you see there down the blue doesn't look like much of a truck trailer at all. And then as well on the back of the toes, you see some different accenting. Uh, Op Leader kept the gray toe pull through. Magic Square, you get a bit more with the accents and the colors. And actually Takara does some, some nice work with the feet there to have something different than just the front of the toe show through in trailer mode. You get something that looks more like the back of a rig. And then here, not that it matters from a judgment perspective, but I'll just show you the, the undersides. Clean, op leader. Relatively clean. Takara. This is where it seems like, you know, this is sort of the effect you want to have on the back of this rig just to smooth it out. Instead, they've got all of the, the kibble side on the back and then magic square. Just so you've seen it. And then for accessories here, and I'm not going to go deep into accessories, really focusing on the bot because, uh, frankly, from accessories, nothing even comes close to the Takara version. Op leader and magic square, you're only getting a rifle and a, an axe, really. Yes, some other little things like the battle damage with magic square, uh, maybe an extra head with TE op leader, but... Just does not compare to uh, Takara, and be sure to check out my gimmicks and accessories and play video out on the channel. But here's the three main guns. You got Op Leader here. Uh, this is Takara, and then this is Magic Square. So they all took, you know, an upsized view versus MP10 of the gun. I think they're all good. None here is a decisive deal breaker versus the other. So, you know, slightly different, but all very recognizable, all the same. Op Leader and Takara's look shaped most similar. Magic Square is slightly different, mainly just coming with the main more flat tubed barrel all the way out to the front without some of this accenting here. And if you've seen my Op Leader video, you know it, it does bring a little bit of electronics there. So they put something there with a light up laser gun, but it doesn't really doesn't spot or, or shoot or do anything, so unless it's looking right at you, it doesn't really add much.
And again here, just to make the accessory point, I mean, it does not compare. You get this beautiful, nice trailer with Takara. Every little accessory you can think of here, you know, and what's not being shown here as well as like the repair bay, which is already in the, in the truck and the matrix, which is already in prime. So a ton of stuff there. That's, you know, it's why it costs so much along with the electronics that are in the figure as well. Magic Square and Op Leader do not come with any of that stuff. So there you have it, guys. That's the comparison. Again, I did an in-depth Op Leader versus Magic Square previously. It's out on the channel. I know a lot of people jumped on Magic Square early because that's what came out first. And it was definitely an upgrade to MP10. But as I stated in that prior video, I think TE01 easily and quickly trumped that with the higher tune accuracy in the better alt mode and better engineering as well, which may or may not matter to you depending on if you really try to avoid complex transformations. I get why you'd like Magic Square more. But then it comes down to Takara versus Op Leader. And frankly there, I think it just comes down to uh, what do you want? Obviously all of this is what do you want personally, but I mean, do you want all the extra accessories and playability configurations that you get with Takara MP10? Do you want the voice clips? Do you want the trailer and all those other goodies I just showed you? I think the Takara at $330, which is what I paid, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the price, but importing this thing yourself, you know, you should have been between $325 and $375 probably for that figure. And personally for me, I feel like I got value for money for my $330. The figure's outstanding. The accessories are as comprehensive as anything I've ever seen, and it brings the electronic gimmick accessories as well. Now for Op Leader, I think I paid $120 for that as a standalone Optimus Prime. You know, very vanilla, no extra goodies. It's a great figure too. And I will even say it pulls off the alt mode, I think, in a cleaner, better way. You know, so there's some considerations between the two or frankly across the three because it's all your personal choice. Me personally, I'm happy with both Op Leader and Takara MP44 for the different prices I paid and the different things they bring and offer. And then me Personally, again, personal choice. If I had to choose one, it would be Takara for me. I like the finish. I like the glossiness. It pops. I like the action figure-esque articulation and playability. And I like all the tons of accessories and gimmicks. But again, you can decide what you like. Hope the video helped you understand a bit across these three figures if you want to see them all side by side. Get links down in the description below if you're interested in picking any of these up. Feel free to shop through those links find the best price. Check out my Instagram and my Amazon page, link down below as well. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this comparison video of these three great Optimus Prime figures. I'll see you next time.